This cosmic calendar compresses all of the last 13.8 billion years since the Big Bang. The star is Beetlejuice, uh, a red supergiant in mm. the constellation Orion. Betelgeuse or Betelgeuse, it's a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is, it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous, it's very unstable, it's about to explode. The April total solar eclipse was one of the most highly anticipated cosmic spectacles of the last decade, as it swept through more than a dozen states in America. While the world is still caught up in an eclipse frenzy, the far-off Corona Borealis binary system, home to a dead white dwarf star and an aging red giant star, is on the brink of unleashing a cataclysmic nova explosion. In a shocking turn of events, scientists across the world are raising alarm as this spectacular nova is about to grace the night sky. Why is this terrifying supernova, which exploded eight decades ago, repeating now? What impact will this explosion have on our solar system? Join us as we unravel the terrifying warning issued by scientists ahead of the supernova explosion. The birth of a star is one of the most captivating and terrifying cosmic events. For a star to be born, three essential elements must be present. Hydrogen, gravity, and of course, time. It all begins with gravity drawing in surrounding dust and gas, creating a large swirling vortex. As a cloud thickens over hundreds of thousands of years, it forms a massive spinning disk that surpasses the size of our entire solar system. Within this disk, gravity crushes the gas into an incredibly dense and hot ball leading to a buildup of pressure until powerful jets of gas erupt from its core. It's a terrifyingly violent process. These jets span many light years and are propelled by an immense force, hurtling materials across unimaginable distances at incredible speeds. Gravity continues to exert pressure, drawing in gas and dust particles that collide with one another, generating even more heat. Over the course of the next half a million years, the young star gradually becomes smaller, brighter and hotter, with temperatures at its core soaring to an astonishing 15 million degrees. Only at such mind-boggling temperatures can gas atoms begin to fuse together, giving off massive amounts of energy. And just like that, a star is born. Every newly born star is destined to follow its own unique cosmic journey, possibly culminating in a spectacular supernova event. Now, a new star is set to be born into the northern night sky, and the coming explosion it will unleash is anticipated to be of a magnitude that hasn't been witnessed since the 1940s. Although the recent total solar eclipse might be the biggest astronomical event of 2024, this cataclysmic nova could go down as the most notable celestial event of the last eight decades. The scientific community has recently uncovered a startling revelation about the star, T. Coronae Borealis, as it's the potential source of this terrifying explosion. Keep watching to find out why this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, the projected date of the explosion, the magnitude of its impact, and why this monumentous cosmic phenomenon might transform our planet for decades. But before delving into the exciting details, let's first provide you with some important context. When it comes to unraveling the mysteries of the universe, there are certain astounding celestial events that truly leave us in awe. They not only dazzle us with their spectacular beauty, but also offer profound insights into how the cosmos works. One such event that captures our imagination is a nova. And at the center of this breathtaking occurrence lies T. Coronae Borealis, a binary star system located a staggering 3,000 light years away, poised to treat us to a magnificent spectacle of cosmic fireworks. A nova is a cataclysmic event that occurs in a binary star system where one star, known as a white dwarf, steals matter from its companion star. Over time, an enormous amount of material accumulates on the surface of the white dwarf. Eventually, this material becomes so dense and hot that a runaway nuclear fusion reaction is triggered, causing a sudden and dramatic increase in brightness. The result is a spectacular explosion of light and energy, illuminating the surrounding space in a mesmerizing display. Corona Borealis, also known as the Northern Crown, is a small constellation located in the northern sky. It's one of the 88 recognized constellations and holds a rich history and mythology. The name Corona Borealis is derived from Latin, where Corona means crown and Borealis means northern. This constellation represents the crown worn by Ariadne in Greek mythology. 
According to the Greek myth, Ariadne was the daughter of King Minos of Crete. She fell in love with Theseus, who was sent to slay the Minotaur, a terrible monster residing in the labyrinth. Ariadne provided Theseus with a thread, which he used to navigate the labyrinth successfully. In gratitude, Theseus promised to marry Ariadne, but abandoned her on the island of Naxos. Dionysius, the god of wine, found her there and married her, crowning her with a constellation in the sky, which is now known as Coronae Borealis. From an astronomical perspective, Coronae Borealis is a relatively small constellation spanning an area of about 179 square degrees. It lies between the constellations Bootes and Hercules. The most distinctive feature of this constellation is a semicircular arc of stars that resembles a crown or a tiara when viewed in the night sky. The brightest star in Corona Borealis is known as Alpha Coronae Borealis, or Gemma, which means jewel in Latin. T. Coronae Borealis is not just an ordinary star. It's actually a fascinating binary system where an incredible stellar dance takes place. This system consists of a white dwarf and a red giant that are locked in a gravitational embrace. The white dwarf, which is a dense and compact remnant of a star, plays a crucial role in this cosmic ballet. It eagerly absorbs material from its companion, the bloated red giant, which is nearing the end of its life and shedding its outer layers. This process of material transfer is not just a simple exchange of mass. It's the spark that ignites the breathtaking blaze of a nova. When the white dwarf accumulates a significant amount of material from the red giant, it reaches a critical threshold. The pressure and temperature at the surface of the white dwarf skyrocket, leading to a thermonuclear explosion that hurls the accumulated material into space. This explosion is what lights up the sky, causing T. Coronae Borealis to appear as a bright new star or nova from Earth. This event, often compared to a cosmic hydrogen bomb, releases an immense amount of energy, briefly outshining entire galaxies. Throughout history, T. Coronae Borealis has been a captivating object for astronomers. It was first identified in the late 1800s, and it has erupted in a nova event approximately every 80 years. The most recent grand display was observed in 1946. These recurrent bursts provide scientists with valuable data to comprehend the mechanics of binary systems and the life cycle of stars. Furthermore, the predictability of these events in such a system allows astronomers to prepare, observe, and study these stellar explosions in great detail. This contributes significantly to our understanding of stellar evolution and the dynamics of binary star systems. NASA has stated that its explosion this year will be cataclysmic. While there was initial uncertainty about the exact timing, keep watching as we reveal the latest updates regarding the time of this grand explosion. But first, we must understand how to locate this nova before it explodes. Have you ever witnessed the spectacular sight of a star exploding? Well, get ready, because we are all about to witness one of the most awe-inspiring star explosions in the coming month. As the anticipation for the T. Corona Borealis binary system increases by the day, it's essential that observers understand how to secure the best vantage point for this astronomical marvel. Observing this event requires careful planning and a touch of luck with weather conditions, as the visibility of the upcoming nova is greatly influenced by the dance between nature and the cosmos. The stage for T. Coronae Borealis' dramatic performance is the backdrop of the constellation Corona Borealis, known for its distinctive arc of stars resembling a crown. To witness this event, observers must first familiarize themselves with the celestial landmarks that guide them to this cosmic crown. The stars Vega and Arcturus serve as celestial signposts, pointing the way to Hercules and the nearby Corona Borealis. Astronomers predict the timing of this nova's appearance with precision, as it's dictated by the intricate ballet of celestial mechanics. Yet, this window remains subject to the whims of the universe. The clarity of our view into the cosmos is often at the mercy of earthly conditions, and a cloudless, moonless night offers the ideal canvas for the nova's light to shine through the terrestrial veil. Such conditions minimize light pollution and atmospheric disturbances, allowing for the faint glow of distant stars to reach observers unimpeded. This pursuit often leads enthusiasts away from the glow of city lights and into the serene darkness of the countryside, where the naked eye can marvel at the beauty of the night sky. However, certain tools can certainly enhance the experience, as star map apps and astronomical software bring the ancient practice of stargazing into the digital age.
offering guidance to the heavens with a tap and a swipe. Ultimately, the most important tool in observing the night sky is one's own vision, as allowing one's eyes to adjust to the darkness, a process taking roughly 30 minutes, maximizes sensitivity to the faint light of distant stars. By embracing the natural rhythm of the cosmos and utilizing the resources at their disposal, observers can position themselves to witness the captivating celestial dance of T. Corone Borealis. Among the top naked eye astronomical objects that can be observed without any tools are the sun, moon, planets, stars, constellations, the Milky Way, and even meteor showers. One of the most spectacular phenomena is a supernova. But who could have anticipated that such a rare event would grace our sky in the coming month? For most astronomers, the red supergiant star in the Orion constellation, Betelgeuse, is their most likely candidate for a nova in the next few decades. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star located in the Orion constellation, is an extraordinary celestial giant that greatly surpasses the size of our sun. It stands out prominently in the vast night sky with its reddish hue and its role as the hand of Orion, as named in ancient Arabic. Throughout its existence, Betelgeuse has undergone various stages of stellar evolution, starting from the fusion of hydrogen and its core. Over millions of years, the star's core is transformed, undergoing helium burning and giving rise to heavier elements, such as carbon and oxygen. This progression has led to Betelgeuse's current state as a red supergiant, a phase characterized by its expansive size. However, despite their brilliance, stars like Betelgeuse inevitably face certain fates. As they approach the end of their lifespan, the depletion of nuclear fuel triggers a series of events that ultimately culminate in a supernova. Betelgeuse is currently exhibiting distinct signs of these late-stage phenomena, indicating that the star is nearing the twilight of its existence. While it remains challenging to precisely predict the timing of a supernova, the notable changes in Betelgeuse's luminosity strongly suggest the possibility of a colossal celestial event on the horizon. Betelgeuse's life cycle unfolds over a vast span of millions of years, starting from its humble beginnings within a dense molecular cloud composed of gas and dust. Deep within this cloud, gravitational forces initiate the coalescence of matter, giving rise to the budding core of Betelgeuse. As time progresses, the core accumulates more mass, gradually maturing into a young and hot star known as a protostar. Throughout this phase, Betelgeuse remains shrouded in an opaque cocoon of gas and dust. With the continued accumulation of mass, the temperature and pressure within the core rises. Eventually, these conditions become conducive to the fusion of hydrogen atoms into helium. This marks the star's entry into the main sequence phase, characterized by a delicate balance between the inward pull of gravity and the outward pressure from nuclear fusion. Betelgeuse spends millions of years in the stable main sequence phase, where it primarily burns hydrogen at its core, sustaining its luminosity and overall stability. However, as the hydrogen in the core gradually depletes, the balance between gravitational forces and pressure becomes disrupted. Consequently, Betelgeuse's core undergoes contraction, leading to an increase in temperature and pressure. Simultaneously, the outer layers of the star expand, causing Betelgeuse to transform into a red giant, with its outer envelope significantly swelling. This marks the precursor to the red supergiant stage. During the red supergiant phase, Betelgeuse undergoes a remarkable transformation. The core continues to contract and heat up, enabling the fusion of helium and heavier elements, resulting in the creation of elements such as carbon and oxygen. These fusion processes give rise to even heavier elements, ultimately reaching iron. However, unlike earlier fusion processes, the fusion of iron does not release energy, but instead consumes it. As a consequence, the core is unable to withstand the gravitational forces exerted upon it, leading to an inevitable and catastrophic collapse, triggering a supernova explosion. The signs of instability and irregular behavior observed in Betelgeuse serve as indications of the imminent supernova event that lies ahead. The only piece of the puzzle yet to be determined is precisely when this extraordinary celestial event will occur. Dr. Stanimir Metchev, an esteemed astrophysicist from Western University, highlights the incredible spectacle that Betelgeuse's impending explosion will bring. He predicts that the event will elevate Betelgeuse to a magnitude comparable to a full moon for a two-week period, with its luminosity surpassing the boundaries of typical celestial visibility and even piercing through daylight. 
This cataclysmic event would outshine neighboring stars, transforming night into day for weeks or even months, and its extraordinary brilliance would be visible from various parts of the world, provided the skies are clear, making it a truly global phenomenon. But scientists are now certain that the explosion of T. coronae borealis will come way earlier than Betelgeuse. Imagine a celestial event of such monumental proportions that it rivals the luminosity of the North Star, becoming a captivating beacon in the night sky visible to the naked eye. This isn't the plot of a science fiction movie. It's an actual astronomical event poised to grace our night skies. The star known as Corona Borealis has experienced a nova, or a sudden increase in brightness, at least twice before. The most well-known eruption occurred in 1946 and was extensively studied by astronomers. However, the star was originally discovered in 1866, 80 years prior, due to its previous eruption. Normally, the star is not visible without binoculars or a small telescope, but in 1866 and 1946, it suddenly exploded, making it a nova, and remained bright for nearly a week. It became one of the 100 brightest stars in the night sky during those periods. Interestingly, when it happens again, it'll be visible even in typical light-polluted cities, as its brightness will not be easily hidden. Several studies conducted in 2015 and 2016 analyzed the star's active state during that time. Researchers made some peculiar discoveries. The star became slightly brighter and more active, emitting more radio waves and X-rays. This increase in activity closely resembled what happened in 1938, approximately eight years before the 1946 eruption. Furthermore, recent observations and studies reveal some unusual events. In June 2018, there was a strange dip or dimming of the star, followed by a much larger dip in March 2023. These events mirrored a sudden dip that occurred in May to June 1945, approximately 9 to 10 months before the explosive eruption in 1946. Based on these findings, a scientific paper predicted that the next NOVA event would likely occur in January 2024. In the past, predictions of various NOVA events often had significant timeline errors, Therefore, it's expected that the actual event could happen within a window of approximately plus or minus seven months. Considering that this particular star is located about 3,000 light years away from us, the fact that it'll become visible to the naked eye is already quite impressive. What's even more remarkable is that when compared to other recurrent novas, such as CI Aquilae, V394 Coronae Astralis, IM Norme, and RS Ophiuchi, the predictions for most of them have been relatively accurate. For instance, just over a year ago, there was an eruption from a recurring nova in New Scorpiae, where the peak magnitude reached approximately 8. A year before that, we witnessed an eruption from the well-known nova RS Ophiuchi, which had occurred multiple times. However, its peak magnitude was only around 5, making it somewhat difficult to see with the naked eye. In contrast, the nova we are expecting in Corona Borealis is predicted to reach a magnitude of 2.5. For those familiar with magnitudes, this is quite bright and very close to the famous North Star, Polaris, which means it'll be very easy to see with the naked eye. NASA has issued a statement that T. Corona Borealis will experience a terrifying flare-up in the night sky sometime between now and September. Now, this extraordinary event presents a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for both astronomers and regular individuals to witness this captivating phenomenon. The eruption of T. Coronae Borealis adds to an already eventful year in astronomical occurrences, emphasizing the dynamic and intricate nature of our universe. In addition to this nova, we have already been treated to a total solar eclipse, a rare spectacle where the moon casts its shadow upon the Earth, momentarily dimming the sun's light. This alignment of celestial bodies provided a visually stunning display and a unique chance for scientific observation. Moreover, the return of the green comet 12P Pons Brooks grants us a glimpse of a primordial object whose icy journey through the solar system offers a window into the past. When combined with the eruption of T. Coronae Borealis, these events weave together a narrative of celestial dynamics, with each phenomenon contributing its own voice to a cosmic story. Each of these spectacles, remarkable in their own right, grants us valuable insights into the forces that shape our universe. The total solar eclipse serves as a reminder of the precise mechanical dance that our solar system performs, 
a choreography crucial for maintaining the delicate balance necessary for life on Earth. On the other hand, the appearance of the Green Comet invites us to contemplate our place in a broader cosmic history, connecting us to the formative moments of the universe. Therefore, the upcoming eruption of T. Coronae Borealis is not just an isolated event. It's part of a grand narrative that unfolds in the heavens above. These celestial phenomena offer us a profound understanding of the universe's beauty and complexity, while also reminding us of our own significance within this vast cosmic expanse. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more interesting and informative videos.